Welcome everyone back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Today I wanted to film another reaction video because I think they're quite fun and I've seen a lot of videos made on this channel Be The Change because it's a flat earther, a super spreader of the thing that shall not be named and he shares his channel with a guy named Nathan Thompson. I'm pretty sure most of you know who I'm talking about, but if not, just Google the name, you will. He's the leader of the Flat Earth Society, so yeah, also a very charming boy. We mostly talk about charming boys. I need another term to describe those people. But regardless, let's watch this video. of Yuvia. So I guess y'all has a better plan for me today. So you ain't gonna be build building today. You're gonna be building on people's character, people's mind. I actually struggle so to understand what he's saying. Can you speak English, please? Oh my God. Educating the peoples, the masses. So, what I venture to tell. What do you do on a boring day when you're on flat earth? There's no boring day, just go out and flat smack. There you go, my man. Check out when you got free time. It looks like he's walking like that. He's so, I don't know how it's called, swinging while walking. My god, you get dizzy watching that video. Got some free reading time. Here's some free reading information for you. Ten proofs you can do. Ten the Bible backs up. All right, all right brother. Ready. Yep, just gotta have an open mind there. There you go. That would get us out of this trouble we're in. All right, now. I don't think God can help with that. Oh, it's so Bible boring. Backs up. We can put more. We can only put so much on a pamphlet. All right, darling. Check it out. 10 fruits you can do and 10 the Bible backs up. And we catch NASA with bloopers all the time. Wires, bubbles, everything. Yeah, we know the bubbles. The bubbles that go up and left and right and down. How does that work in a pool? I tell you something. Come a little closer. Come. It doesn't! Supermarkets in America are humongous. That is ridiculous. Did y'all like how I infiltrated this Walmart? I came in the wrong side of the door. <laughs> they didn't even ask me. Because they didn't even see me. Oh well, man, can I get you some free reading information? Check out some time. 10 proofs you can do. 10 the Bible backs up. Because um, when you learn, first thing that will blow your mind is a, a low pressure system a high pressure system has to have a container it's the second law of thermodynamics now that the thing i don't understand with every flat earther i think i said it in another video but still they're always crying for science they want scientific proof demonstrable science as pretty boy says always but yet they say science is all wrong because science says, hey, Earth is a globe, space is real, and everything you believe in is fucking wrong. And yet they use science to disprove science. And they abuse science. I mean, come on, the second law of thermodynamics is about energy and not about matter. And gases are matter and not energy. So the second law of thermodynamics hasn't anything to do with it because it's also about an isolated system. And Earth is not an isolated system because we get the energy from the sun outside of the atmosphere and emit a little bit of energy outwards into space. That's why you can see Earth when you're on the moon because we reflect and emit some kind of energy. 
I really don't know how these people can see how they just contradict themselves by using the second law of thermodynamics because they use it wrong in the wrong place they understand it completely wrong and it's science to disprove science it just doesn't make any sense what i mean at least he's not in the warm world touching everything and then rubbing his face and touching everything again because that's something he likes to do oh too bad he has to search for people instead of just shutting the f up and leave people alone man that's free reading information check out 10 proofs you can check out nintendo bible backs up oh, yeah. and he here's the biggest kicker they say the earth is covered with 73 percent water right mm. now when you go to ocean what do they call that they call it the sea level mm -hmm. why do they do that because it's level mm -hmm. it's straight level so how can the bodies of water start to curve. At what point does the water start to curve? It can't be done. It's impossible. Check it out when you got some time. Oh, okay. Gotta have a mind. Appreciate it. Ah, the good old argument of water always seeks its level. It's not like we haven't heard this a thousand millions of times and debunked it probably more than those times, but. Regardless, I just sum it up again. The only thing you have to know, and it's not as hard as it seems. Water seeks its level, but that level isn't completely flat. It seems to us because we're tiny and Earth is humongous. So, you look out, seems flat. You go up like a big 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 person and then you can see there's a little bit of curve regardless if you believe in it or not your stupid arguments don't make any sense but i think you know that right huh yeah yeah there's all there's we're blowing up it's it's been out there on the internet for about okay. six years but we are getting censored or they're deleting videos and everything you got to watch out false um information like the government will put fake websites out there to kind of throw you off to make it look silly like the number one thing they'll say is you got gravity because the, pl the plane is shooting up in the air and that's what's pushing us down but we're saying the earth is stationary oh god oh god but we're yet yeah, we're saying it's stationary and flat because you do star trails and see the Pleiades star oh, yeah. is always there it's never if we're really shooting through the universe like they say 32 times rifle speed, we would never see the same constellations every year, every day. Oh, yeah. oh, it's oh, awesome. Yeah, yep. Again, no understanding of the scale of humans to Earth to universe. <laughs> because those fucking stars you see every night, they're so far away. Some of the millions of light years. Oh my god, and that is just a fraction of the whole universe. So, it's just because you don't understand it, and you actually don't understand very much, buddy, it doesn't make it impossible. I know it's kind of hard to take in, but you're full of sh**. So free, free, I'm sorry, I guess free reading information you can check out when you're bored. Um, 10 proofs you can do and 10 the Bible backs up. Okay, thank you. And remember, we catch NASA with a lot of bloopers, so they could be faking it. In fact, we know they are, but... All right, thank you. I don't think she believes in all that stuff. That hey, was a fake laugh. Like this will blow your mind when you got some free reading time. Ten proofs you can do? No? Okay, all right, thank you. Oh, thank God. Oh, faith in humanity. Kind of a little bit restored. Bada boom, bada bing. Do you know what I mean? The Earth's surface is on 73% water. Water, right. Now, if you go to a beach or an ocean, you can see it's sea level. They call it sea level because it's level, right? Okay, so how? what point does that water start to curve into a ball? Yeah. If water lays level and straight and the, and the ocean is sea level... 
you are the only ones thinking that level means completely straight. Level means just the level where the water is. And the level where the water is, is on a globe, the whole level all around it. It's not that hard. Leave the people alone. Why are these people going around and just harassing people with their bullshit? The moment you put your feet out of the store, they gonna cry laugh for probably 10 minutes. And then they do an Instagram story and a tweet of how stupid of a person was in their store at their shift. A hundred percent. They're just nice because they have to work. How would it curve? What I'm basically saying is NASA and, and scientists are lying to you. Here's 10 proofs you could do and 10 of the Bible backs you up. Oh, okay. Um, honey mustard and some oh, Southwest okay. sauce for the dressing. Yeah, right. it's, just to, it's just to enforce the evolution and Big Bang and there's all these other planets out there. And we're, you, we're, we're, we're nothing special, but really it's the opposite. We're the center of everything. No. But the whole theory of the Big Bang and then billions of years building up the solar system and then Earth kind of started to get more habitable. And at some point there was just the perfect mixture of everything that there could happen life. And the whole time after that point was also so much luck and so much specialty that there are people like us that there are those plants and animals and everything we have that is so special from a science point of view i think that to say a, a person did it because he wanted to is so boring in comparison of what must have happened that this was possible in the first place and as for now we don't know if we are the only ones in the universe and that would make us way more special when there is such a wide range of space and planets and stars and galaxies and at the moment we could actually be the only ones or we could be the first ones or we could be the last ones and even if there is a different life somewhere in the universe, what I believe in, because it would be kind of arrogant to think that we're the only thing that the universe has achieved, but still in the nearest space <laughs> around our solar system, we are probably the only life existing for many many light years as of what we know now could change could not let's see but that is so much more special than some guy who just wanted to do it okay guys this is where i will wrap up this video because i just can't take anymore i hope you did like the video if so please leave a comment and a like and maybe consider subscribing and if you are interested, become a member of my Discord server, because I will soon start streaming on the Discord server. So if you're interested, go there. I will announce everything on there. And I wish you all a very nice day or night or whatever. Globe things. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!